But up. And but up. Da 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 da. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome on. Sorry, everything's been a bit crazy. <laughs> If you are on Instagram or on TikTok, I'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay, and that is where I will be uh, answering any questions and responding to chat. So if you've got questions and stuff, go there. So yeah, uh, today we are going to be working on a new cosplay. <laughs> Seems like every time I stream, I've been working on a new cosplay. Um, but it's San from Princess Mononoke, and it's just a fun little side build since my life is really crazy right now. So yeah, but uh, welcome on guys. Hi Real, hi Angry, David, uh, San, Brit, uh, yeah, so <laughs> welcome, welcome. We are starting a little bit later today, just everything's crazy. So yeah, um, obviously elephant in the room. I changed my hair. I finally did. It's I like it, but it's a little darker than I wanted. Um, it will lighten up over time. The blue, but the root part with like solid black, and it's a little darker than I wanted. Uh, but it'll 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 get better. So yeah, but it's fun. It's something different. So yeah. <laughs> Hi Anna, welcome on. Um, other life updates. So with Lilith and with Nilo. Uh, those got put on hold, those are other costumes that I am currently making, but I am going through credit card fraud still. I did finally get a replacement credit card, it only took a month, and that was just a whole mess of every single day being on the phone with my bank for over an hour just waiting on hold to talk to them because the, the whole... My bank is only in Texas. I'm in Nebraska, so like there's just a whole mess of trying to get things situated and shipping takes forever and the fact that they forgot to put in an order that I needed a new credit card after disputing everything and just like, it, it's been crazy. So yeah, but I finally got a new one so I can pay bills and uh, get some of the cosplay supplies that I need. Um, but I'm still very cautious right now and not like getting what I was planning on getting. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's been crazy. Um, other stuff is I am going through quite a bit of health stuff in the background. Um, for all transparency, my ovary has some issues with it and trying to get that all situated. So yeah, not fun. Um, and tomorrow I have a CAT scan to figure out my head too. So lots of medical stuff in the background and hopefully that will help me feel better and not have as much pain as I've been having for quite a long time. So yeah, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, uh, also, what a, oh, oh, other thing for everybody on YouTube. Thank you so much. We hit 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So I really appreciate the support. Y'all wanting to be interested in my cosplays, um, specifically those that come to my live streams and want to see how I actually make my stuff and watch my tutorials rather than just my my shorts or reels or whatever they're called on each platform. Um, so yeah, I appreciate the people that are wanting to learn how they're made as well. That's what I am more focused on and more interested in. So yeah. Ah. <laughs> But um, today we're going to be working on, for Princess Mononoke, the necklace as well as the earrings out of EVA foam. And I'm excited about that. Uh, basically this cosplay has been nothing but scrap material that I've been using. But I do have to buy a wig and I have to go get more fun fur, um, obviously for the, the woof cloak part thing. Because uh, I don't have enough of that in my scrap box. I have some, but not enough of that, so fairly cheap and quick cosplay for me, but uh, here's the mask so far. Now uh, the tutorial for how I made it is already on YouTube for members currently. Um, it'll come out full release for everybody in a few months. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. All EVA foam, and then I also have the ears are fully made. They've been plastic dipped already as well, so they're ready to be painted. And the pattern for them is available on my website. So if you want to make your own, go to my website. It, it's got tons of stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I know there's probably other announcements. I'm just kind of like forgetting things. So yeah. I also didn't get much sleep last night because Fluff decided to be sick all night and constantly throw up. So that was not fun. And Chez also is being a grumpy old man and he is very unhappy with his living situation. So he got completely removed to a different spot in the house and hopefully he won't be as grumpy. So, but uh, let's get started. I wanna first cut out the earrings. So I'm gonna get some film out of the closet. And I hope everybody's been doing well. Um, sorry, haven't been streaming and making much stuff, but life is life right now. Let us do, this is my 12 mil, but I want my 10 mil. Okay, <laughs> this is the one that I want. 10 millimeter foam. And then I'm gonna need my cutting mat. so I can get kind of an idea of how large I want everything in proportion, so. There we go. Read chat real quick. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, let me put the Discord notification. There you go. <laughs> I always have it loaded on Discord. I just forget to press enter. <laughs> Yeah, please yell at me if, like, if you're also a mod in Discord um, or an admin, like, feel free to share that I'm live as well, because sometimes I just am derping and I forget. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Caspian. <laughs> Finally learned how to use a sewing machine. Eee, congrats! What's your first project you're going to use with it then? No, Chez is, I think Chez is marking his territory because of the other bunnies. Um, either that or he's just old. There's a bunch of things that I'm trying to figure out of like, new place, new location, and go through all of the, the list. But um, I may have to take him to the vet and see how, uh, if he's an old man and having old man problems. But so far he likes the new location. So hopefully it fixes things. He's just been very unhappy. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, I do have an open Discord. If you are not part of it, anybody can join. It is a community Discord, not just about me, but about all cosplay community. We do gaming, watch parties, stuff like that. Um, so feel free to join. Just do exclamation point Discord and don't be a jerk. Yeah. And then we need my circle cutter. If you don't have one, you should get one. It's like the best thing ever. We're gonna rotate downward ever so slightly. All right, and cheers guys. Thanks for watching. You thought Chez was a cat? No, Chez is a rabbit. Yeah, Fluff is the cat, Chez is the rabbit. Or the gremlin, he's a very, um, interesting critter to say the least so yeah actually i probably do the other thing but we'll see so i need to get proportions first for how large i want to make these earrings so to do that i'm gonna use this i need to see this side because this one's not fast enough so i'm thinking maybe Three inches? Seems like a decent size. It's really hard to see with this. 
stitches, I think. So we'll do that. All right, so with our circle cutter, I'm gonna switch over to this screen now. So if you don't know, this is the Costal Circle Cutter. It's like my favorite thing. Never cut a circle with by hand. It's just, you never get a circle. Um, the only thing is it's measuring is a little bit wonky. So your center is this little part that comes out here. And then this is the blade that cuts it. And you can really bend the blade easily, which I already have, um, which is why they recommend cutting on like foam styrofoam board so that way you don't dull the blade when you hit a hard surface but it still works you just have a lot more cleanup um i do it a lot for like cutting just circles or cheerios when you have to do an inner circle and an outer circle but it does have a measuring kind of thing i don't trust this it's always wrong uh, so pretty much what you have to do is whatever measurement you want you have to divide it in half because the center part is the center. So you want the half of the full circle because this is gonna rotate around. So three, we're gonna do 1.5. So roughly about there. And we'll see. Like their measurement, I never know if it's like on the inside or the outside of the three. That's about correct. So we will lock it in place. And of course, I'm going to record all of this so I can eventually make a tutorial out of it. <laughs> all right. The one downfall of this tool, though, also is if you're doing really thick material when cutting, you really need like the whole thing to pretty much be on an even or most of it to be on a flat surface. So if you're cutting towards like the edge of the foam here and you try to put it here, it doesn't sit flat and you're more likely to have a wonky circle. So we're gonna commented um caspian when i did the poll of what is chez and you're like where's the god one it, or our lord um chez the almighty or, or whatever you said and i was just thinking i was gonna put that but then i didn't think enough people would know the inside joke and just be like what is this lady talking about she's crazy so i laughed when you brought that up <laughs> all right let us start the circle so yeah And we'll need two of these. Go, oh, first one. chime in as much on discord but i'd say it's a community discord because it's not just me like people talking to me i want it to be like anybody in the cosplay community is welcome and to answer questions and help out okay second one did i like Yeah, 
wonky circle. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so there's our pieces, and then we just pop them out. They're also, because it's not cutting straight down, you're carving it down, it gets very floppy. So you have to like wipe all your edges and then sand them. So if you are cutting a circle, I always recommend cut it a little larger than what you want, because once you sand all this down, it's gonna go down probably about two millimeters. So if, if it makes a difference to you or not. Okay. There are those pieces. You're working on a song cosplay too? Cool. Yeah, this was, it's always been on my list. And every now and then I'll ask my community, like, what do you want me to make? And somebody was like, a Studio Ghibli costume. I was like, oh yeah, I've never done that. And this has been on my list. So I was like, oh, perfect. Something that I wanted to do, but I, I sometimes forget because I have so much, so much things that I want to make and I just don't have time. But I'm excited for it. And fun little fact is, it was, I don't know if it was one of like, it's not one of the first animes I watched, but it was like the first anime movie I think I watched. And surprisingly enough, I watched it in middle school in class. Uh, like the, the teacher put it on and I was in a, it was like um, a gardening class kind of thing where you, you didn't, garden but you did but you also like it was an environmental kind of something and so we watched that movie <laughs> but uh, I always laugh because everybody's like you watch that in school like that's kind of kind of hmm. but that was back in the day in the cool early 2000s yeah I think so You know, when they they used to bring in the big TV box on a, a rolly cart and then you have to put in the VHS tape. Some people probably don't even know what that is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi Cliff, Pokemon, how are you? Sorry, I'm a bit behind on chat. Also, if you are on Instagram or TikTok, I'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash cosplay. Today, we are working on a song cosplay from Princess Mononoke, working on the earrings and the necklace, and I am reading chat on youtube.com slash cosplay. So if you've got comments, questions, go to YouTube, because that's where I will answer them. Okay, and because these are earrings, I need to have a hole, so we're gonna get one other tool. I need to make this. This is their um, hole drills. They have three sizes. It's a kit, but basically the smallest the, the circle cutter will cut is to one inch and then these go into basically a 75, a 50, and a 25. And they work wonders. So you have this little device and then you get your piece, insert, in, and twist. Remove your safety piece, and then you can just put it. <laughs> oh, I, I had somebody else asking for a Voltron Caspian yesterday. One of my friends was like, Ahem, uh, why don't you make this? And it's like, hmm. <laughs> So you have somebody else on your team. Yeah. Too many cosplays, too little time, the cosplayer them. I know, I know. Oh, 
I, I have now added another cosplay on my list that I really want to make. And I, I posted it in my stories like a while ago, but if anybody has watched Trinity Blood, uh, it's an anime, like old school anime. And Seth, which is, she's like the girl, uh, or the person, um, that has like all of the green outfit thing and gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And it's been on my list like since I was a kid because my first cosplays that I made were, uh, besides Misa, my second one was Sister Kate from Trinity Blood. And then I've also made Abel Night Road and Esther and yeah, but those were like 2008 when I hand sewed everything and I made all of the, I did like the Thor's art book version, which is basically like take a normal anime and just throw up everything, including the kitchen sink on it with just godly decor. And I made everything out of Sculpey, which is just like this little clay that you, you bend into the shape you want and then you put it into the oven to harden. I'm surprised how well they looked. But um, I I really want to make another one that's like on the same level, but with actual <laughs> materials and knowing how to make stuff now. Uh, thank you for joining our community. Uh, if you are new, I'd love to have you as part of our costly building community. So subscribe to the channel. It is free here on YouTube. Uh, so yeah. But now for the earrings, I want to, I do have gear hooks, so I need to kind of see where they are. So these are all handmade ones. Basically, it's a circle, and then you can bend the hook into the position that you want to go into your ear. And then I'll use, I've got tons of silver jump rings that I can use to attach into here. I'll just have to make sure it's round enough. So wherever the hole is, I'll have to, to carve it in. So we use these. Those will not be attached until it is completely heat treated, plastic dipped, and painted, and these would be the last step to add on to them. Um, you never want to paint or do any like Tina stuff with these attached. But we will put those to the side. So yeah. Terrible, welcome on, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> so the day is, yeah. I, most people still think I'm like 12 or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm 30 though. <gasps> Yay, somebody's helping to pick up trash. Oh, so happy. That's the one downside. So moving here, it's super, super windy and there's so much trash that just blows in and there's like an empty side yacht, uh, lot next to me. And I hate looking at all the trash. It's, it's terrible. And there's a bunch of like people that just walk around with alcohol bottles and just lay them everywhere in the yard. It's terrible. Um, but after the snow, like when there's snow, you don't see any. And then when it melts, it just reveals so much trash after the winter. And I spent like an hour last week and I picked up two and a half trash bags, like full trash bags, full of just trash. It was so bad. And there's still like in one of the ditches, which it's, it's tons of leaves and I don't want to climb in there yet. Um, I'll wait till later down the year. But it's got so much other bottles and tires and it's just is awful. Ugh. Okay. So with this, basically I'm gonna be making my hole. I want to do a little mark. Let's see where, make sure y'all can see things, sorry. Okay, we're good on that. Boop. So I just want to make a little hole or like an indication so I don't get too close to the edge. About the same spot. That's close enough. And then with this tool, 
basically I'll just align it and then it has a cap you can put on it but I find it not useful you just push down and the pressure should cut it and then you remove it and then you just press the button and it should push it out but this might be a little a little much there you go done I know in the movie there are like there's different kind of scenes the scene changes throughout like if the mask is like smaller or larger or whatnot um, they're supposed to be studs but I'm just gonna have them as danglies just because it'll be e easier so earrings are done except for sanding sanding wise I'm just gonna kind of sand both sides so we'll take that to the workbench once we're done so that's done and then we need to make our fangs. So yeah. And I will try to catch up on chat a little bit more too, since I am a bit behind. <laughs> Sorry, Cliff, I'm so behind on chat, yeah. I know, before the dark times, back in the day. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Hi Ruru, welcome on, how are you? If you're going to make Han at the end of the month, any plans to give them a piece of your mind not inviting me? Barely worth it to all. <laughs> one, one time, or maybe one day in the future, Mike Han. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, watch the beginning of the stream to, to get more of an update of, like, me and my house stuff. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. And again, if you are on Instagram or on TikTok, I'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash cosplay, and that is where I am reading chat and answering questions, so go over there. Go over there. So yeah. Um, I am working on San from Princess Monoke doing the earrings and the necklace today. doing those. So let me see. I should have some large dowel rods. The one thing is the closet here is so much smaller for where I store my phone versus my old place. And my scrap box, I have to change to a different one. This one is annoying because my opening is on this side and not on the top. So, uh, I'll go ahead and put my, my foam up too. So it's out of the way. Maybe we'll see if it it cooperates. Cool. There. I'm not breaking anything. It's just all falling down. Okay, then I might have broke something. need to change how I do my foam. It's, I use it so much I can't put it in my storage room, but it's, the storage room is downstairs, but it just doesn't quite work in the closet, so I don't know. Okay, let's get this out. Okay. So I have these, these might be good to carve it into the shape that I want. I also have these, which if we're doing fangs, I don't think this is round enough though. And 
And then we need to do... She's got like little dowel rod beads too. Something like this might work. lobby foam because this seems very flimsy so it's probably not going to be that great of quality all hobby lobby foam so like when i was in two places ago it was in the middle of nowhere and that was like the closest place for getting any kind of materials and uh their foam quality is just crap especially their dowel rods um, but it still does the trick kind of uh welcome to the community <laughs> So yeah, but meh, meh. <laughs> um, little little helpful tip though is their foam dowel rods are the same price as their half dowel rods. So I think this was like for their pack was like three dollars, but their half dowel rods for the same like you get three in a pack are the same price. So rather than buying the half dowel rods, just cut this in half. And then your price got cut in half. And that's what I did for the, the Princess Mononoke mask, this one. So all of these pieces were actually the same dowel rod, just cut in half. And it saves a lot more money. Yeah. Um, in that image, it is a dagger in her hand. So she's got a dagger and she has a spear. Uh, I'll probably make one, but I don't know if I will make both of them. Yeah. I don't know if Home Depot has dowel rods, like foam ones. I know they have rubber ones, uh, but you don't want to use rubber ones. And you can also, if you don't want to do Hobby Lobby, that's totally fine as well. Uh, TNT has some. They don't quite get, their half dowel rods don't get to the size of uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, and they're a lot more expensive, but they're good foam. You can also kind of get some on Amazon, but a lot of that is not great foam as well. So it's, it's kind of hit or miss, unfortunately, with the quality. I know for using this with my Vegeta cosplay, um, normally with foam, you want to heat treat it. Uh, this stuff is... It's got like a shiny surface and when you heat treat it, it turns back to that shiny surface. And if you were to paint this, doing plastic dip, airbrush paint, sealing, whatnot, and you were to go back in, let's say you accidentally, in the costume, there is a, a dent in it. Normally you can use a heat gun to get that dent out, but this foam, the paint will actually crackle and do um, an antique look which you just have to be aware if you're gonna do this process, it's gonna do that, so. Michael also has uh, Dara's, okay. Yeah, I haven't used any of Michael's stuff, so I don't know offhand. Okay, so let's see. First, there are gonna be three uh, of the things, I think is what we're gonna call them. So proportion-wise, if we have this and this as our proportion. We probably want these to be slightly longer than this. Probably about, let's say that much. How long does that go on me? That's okay, I guess. Can I make it an even number? Let's see, what's 3.5 instead? Sorry, I'm using a mirror. Actually, they're gonna hang here. Um, yeah, we'll go back to slightly larger. Let's do... Around 
from 3.7. over there. You have seven helmets in five suits in various stages of builds. You may <laughs> Oh, that's a fun problem to have. Yeah. Do you just like make random helmets and stuff? I would, I would like having them unless you're like trying to sell them. It'd be really cool to do like different paint schemes on each of them. Yee. And welcome to the community. Reminder to like the video while it is live, it helps with the YouTube algorithm, and love to have you as part of our costly building community, so subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let us cut these. Sorry, the TikTok people. The stand is at an angle. <laughs> All right. So that can go back into the box. So we got our three fangs. We'll have to shape them into what we want them. Do you sand it after heating? Um, so you want to heat treat it at the very end after sanding, but I like to, typically if I'm cutting shapes out of foam, I'll heat treat the foam first and then cut it. You get much, much crisp and nice flat edges versus if you were to heat treat the pieces and then glue them together. So like for, for this mask, you can see the lines on the back because it doesn't matter what they look like on the back. If I was to heat treat each of these pieces before gluing them together, they would do what I call as the gummy bear effect where the round, like the edges start to round and not be straight up and down. So before I cut each of these pieces out, I would heat treat the foam and then I would cut my lines and glue it. Now for doing pieces like this, so this was just circle cutter, circle cutter, so it was the same technique as this. After sanding this, I would heat treat it because that is going to close all of the foam pores. And then before I glued it onto this piece, it was heat treated and then glued. So it's kind of, you gotta work back and forth in stages. It just depends on what you're working on. Okay, and then there is one, two, three, four of these. So they're gonna be each in between. So let's see how long I want them to be. Wizard, how are you? I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Watch the beginning of the stream for update on life stuff and everything, so. Okay, so we're gonna have, basically it's like here and here. So the size that I want these pieces are gonna be 1.5. I'm also going to have to drill a hole in these. So we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't work out well, then I might just cut it in half and then glue the two pieces together. So we'll have to play it by ear. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, back 
an or that sorry have to go back to being an adult now that's okay you are always welcome to come in germans i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and you can also watch the vod afterwards um it stays on youtube so yeah hi honey fro welcome on how are you doing now to custom for a test on putting things through. I I could potentially, so I have leather sewing needles and I could potentially just put my, um, cause I plan on doing a heavier cord to hold all of these and I could just put, sew it through and that would work eventually. We'll see, I'll go, I'll look at a few things. We might do some dangerous stuff, we'll see. <laughs> Or, or, hmm, <laughs> where's my tester? You, right there, you will be my tester. Let us see. I mean, that works pretty well as a, a basic hole. We could also use, which would be slightly dangerous, we'd have to use some gloves. But um, we could use a hot wand to insert. It would just be one side would melt faster than the other. But I think this will work. So. Loving the blue hair, excited, but, uh, or exhausted, but okay, how are you? Uh, see the beginning of the stream for all of my life updates right now. So yeah. <laughs> Real, thank you for the $5 donation. I really appreciate it. Much love, and it will go towards our Glowforge um, money savings. I, will, I forgot my little booklet. It's over here. Yay! There's the notification. Thank you, thank you. I'm making it a little bit more realistic and a little bit more bloody. <laughs> if you haven't seen my latest post, uh, check them out. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of the costume in the background. I've already weathered it uh, with the dirt and blood kind of stains. Um, but I want everything to kind of feel more realistic. Like if this was actually outside and she's been outside forever running around wild. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So we are going to put our hole. Hoping that it is straight. Straight-ish. It's kinda ish. I can see the hole here. And we'll go back the other way. And hopefully doing the same hole. Nope. It was close. Okay. This will at least get things started for whatever we decide for opening up them. Let's see, uh, a few new animes I've been watching. 
since I believe our last stream. So I've been absolutely loving the, it's like a cooking show you, you were summoned, like the hero is summoned into another world and his, his skill is cooking, like just ordering food online kind of thing and cooking. It's really funny, I love it. Oh, I just don't remember the name offhand. And then I started watching and I've got most of it done. But uh, it's another kind of one. But it was like that time I got resurrected as a slime. It's been really fun to watch, like a happy kind of anime. And then I've been re-watching Trinity Blood from the beginning. It's so different now that I'm older watching it, and then like I know what's happened, how different it seems. Those are those pieces. Okay, so for this shape, we're gonna kind of figure out how I want to make this. And in the anime, they're very, it's just flat. Like there is no texture or detail, but I want to make it like this. So this, I envisioned the whole thing being made out of wood. Same with the ears. So the ears have kind of textures. So I wanted it to feel a little bit more like it's been carved out of wood. I think with these, I really just want them to be teeth. So that is kind of my goal with these. So I want to do, I want to kind of get the shape for it. So we'll say this is our top half here, relatively like that. And the curvature that we're gonna want, uh, let's see. Maybe more like that. Yeah, I should be filming this. Love Trinity Blood? Yeah. I was saying um, on my cosplay list is Seth and that I want to make make that one. But the Thor's art book version. And then slightly to around the top. happy with that that look but yeah the trinity blood if i do set that'll be my fourth trinity blood cosplay but most people don't like have not really seen them just because they were like my first ones okay now to repeat for this one so there we're gonna kind of do and it's okay if they're a little off just because we want them to be more realistic streams ago. Uh, the pen I'm using is Tandy Leathers. Um, one, it's made for marking leather, but it is amazing on EVA film. And especially for black, you can see how vibrant it is. And it's not a Sharpie. It's like a gel pen kind of thing. So it will kind of rub off of the surface if you want. Um, unlike Sharpie, which will stay and sometimes be absorbed into the foam. But I find this a lot better, especially because depending on how oily your foam is, Sometimes the Sharpie will just be dead after like one use because the oils have ruined the tip of the Sharpie. last night because she kept throwing up on the bed. It was not fun. Went through a lot of blankets. 
but she's got a like a growth in her ear and every now and then it gets itchy and she has to wear like her little her little boot to stop her from itching and cutting it but it also makes it where she gets sick so she just like bleh. but it's okay I still love you. I still love you. You're such a good girl. You know that? No? You wanna come up here and see? Oh, careful. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, give give all of the people on Instagram and on TikTok the uh the fluff button. Face. <laughs> back from the start of the stream. Welcome back. Welcome back. There you go. <laughs> we'll see how long she stays this time. I've got the bedroom closed, so she won't ruin any more sheets tonight. Or well, during the day. But she seems like she's been doing okay. It's like since I think I really like got to sleep at 7 a.m. this morning and I was I slept till like 9 40 so I've got a few hours of sleep yeah in between waking up from the kitties yeah he's a good girl such a good girl okay can I get some Dr. Pepper real quick you're in charge. Cheers, guys, on all cameras. The good thing about all of these pieces, I don't have to glue anything. Like typically for thicker pieces of foam to get the, the height or the thickness I want, I'll stack pieces, but then you get this you always get like edge lines, which are unfun when you sand, but this way, I don't have to. So, what are you doing? Can you choose where you want to go? Hop up. Come on. Can you come on the chair? Yeah. I can put you on my shoulder. You want the shoulder? We can escort you to your food. You want that? Okay, I'm gonna bring her to her food real quick. I will be back. Thank you for watching, guys. Okay, folks. So funny. She like followed me one way, then followed me back to the other way, and then is, like looks back like, what are we doing? <laughs> so yeah, we'll see if she comes back or not, or if she tries to lay in the, the little bit of sun that we have today. It's very over, uh, overcast. Is that what it's called? So, okay. I just don't want her up here while I'm cutting. Two car wash shapes that we want. So now that I have this and I have my lines, I'm just gonna kind of basic cut it straight up and down first and then we'll kind of whittle it to the kind of shape that we want so yeah um and if you are on instagram or tiktok i'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash tiffany gordon cosplay and that is where i am reading chat and answering questions so if you have any of those go to youtube and that is also herbal today i'm working on um the earrings 
And the necklace from, I cannot talk today, oh my gosh. Uh, the costume that we're working on is San from Princess Mononoke. So yeah. So let us begin. Bonjour. Bonjour. And we will. And I find when I'm carving things and trying to make lines, it's best to vision. Like for me, I'm making these to look like fangs or teeth. So it's best to kind of vision in your head what they look like in real life. And that I find helps me to figure out kind of carving the shape that I want. But yes, anybody else working on a costume right now or a prop they wish to share? I know in Discord we've had quite a bit of really cool stuff that y'all have been sharing. you want to incorporate. So when I am thinking of for this piece, wanting to make, oh, sorry, I didn't change the camera. Y'all should have told me. Um, when I was thinking about how I want to make a wood texture, I was visualizing in my head, like African tribal mask and what kind of wood texture would a little bit look like. And so that's kind of how I went from there. Always working on something I know. I didn't know. Rent for a time again. Ah, oh. uh, lucky, lucky. I don't. I don't know when the rent fairs are here. I think they're more in the summertime because we're still. I mean, it's still supposed to snow this week. <laughs> Last time I saw, and it's in the mornings, like low thirties. But we, we actually got to 60 degrees the other day. It was amazing. And we've only been like slowly going higher. Um, so maybe it'll get a little bit warmer, but it's still stupid cold. Okay, so now we have that shape. I'm gonna kind of mimic the same thing on the opposite side. I really would like to like supposing the largest run fair is right next to where I live. So I really want to go to it and I want to make an outfit for it. I've never made specifically an outfit for a run fair. Okay, so same kind of shape. And I actually don't typically draw on the lines, but I find it's very, it's better for um, videoing and for y'all to see. Not making aim for it, uh, just uh, using, you've got your pirate thing, right? I'll say this foam is very flimsy. 
so I know it's the crap PVA foam. drive either that day to and from or I'd stay at a friend's house but I'd really like to stay somewhere close by and like experience more of the nightlife and getting drunk at a Ren fair um, but not being like dehydrated because yeah that's a bad thing Yeah, George pieces. And for sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pieces you've uh, complied over the years. You have a full leather assassin type outfit, but uh, some narrow ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we have kind of the shape, I'm gonna kinda whittle it a little bit more. So we'll start doing more of edges. And you can sand this as is, but carving it as much as possible before you sand will make it a lot less messy and you won't have as much EVA foam dust. some details onto this once we're done with sanding it all smooth and kind of bringing it a little bit more to life. So a pencil like shape is what we're going for apparently. Drink water. Okay. 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 Make sure she's not behind me. Cheers guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Drink water. I'll go ahead and sharpen a tiny bit. Is there a reason you wouldn't use foam clay? Foam clay in general, like you could, but foam clay is a lot more brittle. And it is, even though you can make the shapes, I find it better if you're gonna use foam clay to have a base structure that you put the foam clay onto. I wouldn't ever do just a piece of foam clay as one foam clay is, it doesn't sand very well either. And it just, I, I'm not a big fan of foam clay. I'd rather carve it out of normal foam first and get my base shape and then go back and add little elements, but it will come off easier. But yeah, feel free if y'all have questions on anything. Feel free to ask whether it's what I'm working on or if you have other questions, copy ones. I do plan on my Lilith cosplay using foam clay, but I will not use it as just a base. It'll be like for the headdress. I'll have the basic piece and then I'll add small bits to it. To see more straightness in it, yeah. Also, foam clay is not bendable. <laughs> so if you were to, especially for like, if you're doing a breastplate and it comes like where your waist is, where you bend, that if you were to have any foam clay pieces, if it bent at all, it cracks and sometimes will even just fall off and chip off. So I really try not to use it as much as possible. Like it, 
is really good for parts that are never gonna bend and it has like a more structural under under surface. So like if these pieces were to bend like that, it would just crack. But you can use it for uh, filling uh, cracks and seams though. That's better. in the mail and I love getting their family bucket of chicken tenders and mashed potatoes and biscuits because it lasts me like tons and tons of meals so I'm gonna go do that so I don't have to cook <laughs> bends and it's not like individual segments like a roly-poly then that's an issue um yeah with this costume most likely and it's got to be able to go in a suitcase and be ruckus around and go through photo shoots and things so I, I like to build things so it will last and have the most likelihood of not breaking and not having to fix oh and then we need to do a hole so I think for these, I'll probably do the hole after because I'll kind of need to see where we're going to do it. But this will give us basic shape. Um, I think I want to segment one as like the front and the back. I 
extra beets <laughs> instead of chicken tenders, yeah. Uh, 3D printer print a 10 inch to 9 inch figure thinking about one. Uh, it depends on what type of printer you have, if it would print that size. Um, printer beds all have a limitation of the size that you're doing. So if you have a printer bed that doesn't get to that height, then you'll have to um, put it in pieces. Okay, we're gonna get ready to sand. Uh, box, you're just gonna go out in the hall. And I'm gonna have to get rid of one of my phones. So which phone should we get rid of? Uh, the Instagram or the TikTok one? <laughs> Probably the TikTok one, honestly. Um, so for those on TikTok, you're gonna be going away because I need that phone so I can read chat. Uh, Instagram, you'll still stay here, but go to YouTube. That's where I'm still streaming. Um, for those that are on here on YouTube, if you've not been here during one of my sanding parts of my stream, it does get a tiny bit noisier just because I'm gonna have a vacuum to help suck up all of the EVA foam dust, as well as I'm gonna have my, basically my Dremel and sanding drum, and that makes a little bit of noise. So I'll still be able to answer questions, everything, but it does get a tiny bit louder. So be aware. Um, for those here on TikTok, goodbye. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, and then I need to pull up chat on here. We're on YouTube, that's our platform. This one. I gotta watch an ad. Skip. There we go. Okay, and then I will move this over here. Everything set up. We're gonna switch over to uh, this camera. If you don't know, I used to be a jewelry designer, so my workbench is actually a jewels, uh, jewelry workbench. So, and a lot of my tools I use are specific for jewelry, but work amazing for EVA foam. Stay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Instagram phone, you need to be moved. I have no idea how the sound is on Instagram. So, good luck for y'all. You're gonna be there. And there ish. Ish, ish, ish. Everything's still set up from before. Don't wanna get that dirty. So, you gonna go there, put on my apron, pull all sand in. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you are enjoying the stream so far. Again, I'm streaming on youtube.com slash cosplay, and that is where I am reading chat. We are working on Sun's cosplay from Princess Monoke doing the earrings as well as the necklace. And we're just about to sand, so it will get a tiny bit louder, so be aware. But uh, yeah, love to have you as part of our community, so subscribe to the channel here on YouTube, and don't forget to like the video while it's live to help with the YouTube algorithm. And then we also need earrings to sand. Boop. Last little bit of water. Cliff, you're on the sound, sounds control. So far it's a good stream, good. Good, good, good. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. <laughs> okay. That, oh, I should probably get my camera set up too, so I don't have to fidget with it. Okay. Yeah, after I filmed my last, 
making video, I've tried to make changes. Like all the Gundam stuff, I realized when I made all the tutorials, the camera angles were terrible. So I've tried to change them so they look a little better. Also, Instagram has a good view on this one, but it'll probably get really noisy. So, good luck. Okay, so this one, let's see. I want to do my edges flat first. Switch to a larger one. I also need to replace the standing drum. It's pretty gross. Same with the standing drum. I used it on on Warbla. You can sand Warbla. It just on high friction will fuse to your standing drum. So I don't recommend it, but it does work. But it ruins your standing drum. So I had to heat it up and get it all off, but it also broke off some of the bits. So it works, it's just so. All right, good to get started. So first we're going to, for this, I'm gonna sand all of our edges flat, and then we're going to slightly round our edges so it comes to an angle. And we might have to do a little bit more here just to see so I can get my um, jump ring to fit. So again, it's going to get a little noisy, here comes the vacuum.
larger one and do a more, it, it's too still flat. I want to have it more of a curve, how I envision it in my, my mind.
the face. Okay, try again. And then on this side, I rounded it more. So it comes from a round to a point at the bottom. So it should dangle pretty nicely. Yeah. I could probably go in more and clean it up a tiny bit more, but I I have a habit of over over cleaning things just because I'm so used to like the jewelry industry. <laughs> okay, so let's repeat this piece onto this one now. So And thank you guys also for watching. Hope you are enjoying.
stuck, but I think, I think when you use the heat gun, it should fix it. So let's go ahead and heat treat those pieces. We'll take a break from sanding for a wee bit. I know this is everybody's least favorite part. They want to see it, but then they don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I will move this to over here. You can go over here so you can stay clean ish. ish, -ish. To this camera. Did it get really dark in it? Uh, yeah, let me change my balance real quick. Seems like it's a wee bit darker. Where'd you go? There. Configure. Let us go. Nope, wrong way. That's a little better. Hi, okay, close. All right, let me finish moving all of this stuff. See how this goes. It does not like sitting on that side. Close enough. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So we need to heat treat these pieces. Let me get the sanding drum out now. Did I say sanding drum? Heat gun. streaming on youtube.com slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay and that is where I am reading chat and answering questions. You just live over there and not trip on all of my cords. So let us heat treat the foam. Basically after sanding it you want to heat treat it because all of the foam is open and very porous like this and heat treating it will close all of that and make it so when you go to prime or paint your foam it will not be absorbed into the foam and in general it just helps with the quality of it. This one's heat treated and this one is not.
my drum rings. There they are. It should be fine for it. I forgot why I was making a large chain. Like, what did I use these for? I don't remember. These are all silver, though. But that should be good enough. the foam over a volcano um I mean I don't have access to a volcano but possibly possibly might be a tiny bit more dangerous though <laughs> but if you are one full of danger then maybe What project are you working on right now? The the secret one that you're doing for SoonerCon? Or are you doing a different one? Also, for those that don't know, I'm gonna be a guest at SoonerCon. So that's uh so that's one to keep an eye out for. I think we'll start, well, let's see. These are just really rounding the edges. So we can just do that. That'd be really easy. Easy, easy, easy. And then Hmm. I have all my bits. I haven't gone through and put everything out yet. Let's see. I think I might try it. So I've got, um, these are actually technically, uh, diamond setting bits so for your metal for like a ring you have typically your metal is flat and then you'll slowly dig in but this is like a diamond shape so like this oh I didn't switch the camera sorry let me switch back boop there you go <laughs> my bad um but yeah so this here I don't think it'll focus but it has like a diamond bit at the bottom so basically it's to put the seat for your stone so that way when you put it in you can kind of hammer it to bezel set a little bit that's the easiest terminology i can say for it um, but i need to put these all in i have all of my tools are still in baggies from moving and i just can't be bothered to put them up yet <laughs> I'll drink a water real quick too You just had an interview for DreamHack and you think you got into their cosplay team? Ah, oh, congrats! Does that mean like cosplay team as in working with the cosplayers or cosplay team as in you'll be a cosplay guest? <laughs> mm. Okay, cool. I assume you're not going to share any pictures, though. <laughs> okay. Wooja, wooja. We need to switch this out. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. How are you? I'll test this out. All of my standing drums need help. Staff for conventions, so helping posters. Ah, oh, very cool. Yeah, I know DreamHacks is very nice. I was gonna be doing stuff with them before the pandemic, but that that obviously went and halt and then just everything kind of didn't happen again. But that should be a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy doing behind the scenes at cosplay conventions and helping um, with administration. But most of the time, like, a lot of times that that happens they want me to do both 
administration and also be a guest, and that's just too much. So it's like one or the other, not both for me now. <laughs> Okay, that, did I set this up too? I did. Cool, cool, good to go. So first, with all of our little, I'm gonna call them beads. Um, for these, I'm going to around the edges first. I'm not gonna really care that they're slightly wobbly, uh, just cause we wanna kinda be more natural like. Um, so yeah, that part, and then we'll do something after that. So that noises again. <laughs> but it doesn't fit with the, the thicker shaft pieces. It's a quick action. I will not put this step in my tutorial though at all. So I got like a third of the way down. The problem with this, so typically you'd want to have it in a like a vice intro straight up and down. 
Um, but because it's foam and it's so light and movable that the bit, it gets cut on certain things and then will wobble a tiny bit. So that, and I don't have a full on right through. Let's change that too. That might help. If it has a guideline, it may help it a little. Like it's just barely long enough to reach, but I don't think it's quite anything. I'm gonna get there. Let's see. I think it will work. I'd rather have a little bit of a bigger hole to put the thing through. I just can't recommend it just because this is a little bit of a dangerous process. But I'll still film it. I don't think I'll put it in the video. great. There is actually a hole through it. I don't know if y'all can... Nah. Cool. Done with that one. So we can do the other ones. I'm glad that worked. I don't know if it'll work with those little ones. Yeah, if our Costal's hole drill was longer, it would work great, but it does not go this far down. Let's do it one more time. That sounds a lot better. Are working on the Sun cosplay from Princess Mononoke. 
And we're currently drilling out the holes for our beads right now. time through. streaming on youtube.com slash tipping room cosplay and that is where I am reading chat. So if you've got questions, comments, go there. Okay, flipping over to that one. soft and squishy right now.
last one. right now and lightweight and then when they cool and uh, they'll become a little bit heavier and, and stiffer so we've got now our beads our earrings and now we got to make the uh, carve the um, things also if you notice there are a little bit of indentations from this tool and I really don't care because they're supposed to be kind of like handmade beads so that's the look I'm going for so let's go do our last little bit. These will probably take a little bit longer just to make because we are gonna be carving them. Okay, there, there. Thanks for watching guys. If you're new to the channel, let's have you as part of our cosplay building community. So subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video while it's live. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Switch out our bit again. And then we're going to kind of carve them into more of a fang-like look. So a, a teeth, a tooth, teeth, tooth, however, I'm kind of bad at saying that word. So from the shape that we carved, that's going to help us with not having so much foam dust. I keep looking this way and y'all can't see me, but I can see y'all. Um, so sanding all of these pieces will help clean it up, make it flat. I will kind of go in on the sides because teeth aren't perfectly straight up and down. Um, some of them have a little bit more of a slight curve on some sides. So we'll do that around the top part, around the back. And then from there, we'll start adding probably a little bit more teeth-like grooves towards the tip a little bit, maybe a little at the bottom, not too much, but something so it's not just a perfectly nice shape. Um, that's what I have in my head right now. We'll, we'll see as we go along, but loud noises again. Thank you guys also for watching. Hope you are enjoying the stream. <laughs>
we've got our base shapes. And then I want to, I'm first gonna get my marker for my pen real quick. And then I wanna add a center line so we can kind of taper everything towards the center. I don't want it to be a sharp point, so it's just going to kind of knock off a little bit of the edges, slightly round, so we can get it to be less of a pencil and more of kind of a triangle-ish shape, I guess. more of a point now and less of a tip point. I do want to slightly do a tiny bit more here so it's more natural. done. 
Uh, now to do that to the rest of these, it didn't take too long. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to heat treat it so we can get it less fluffy and see if I need to go back with a smaller sanding drum that's a, a finer grit. everybody sick that is our goal when watching right <laughs> okay that See the difference on on that to that with the fluffiness. Maybe, maybe. We'll draw. Okay, continuing.
Live. It helps with the YouTube algorithm as well as join our community. I'd love to have you as part of our cosplay building community here on YouTube. Um, if you're watching on Instagram, I'm actually live streaming on youtube.com slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. I try to live stream here every Tuesdays around 1 p.m. Central, Central Standard Time. And it's just whatever I am working on at the time. Uh, today I'm currently working on the earrings and the necklace for my son, Princess Mononoke Cosplay. This one's still a little fluffy. I think we'll have to sand that one with the other, the other one. But yeah, love to have y'all as part of our community. We have an open Discord as well. If you do exclamation point Discord on YouTube, you can get the link. Anybody can join. It is a very friendly community about sharing whatever you want, cosplay wise, animes, just a chill group. Our basic pull. I should really be filming that though. Let me film it. We'll be going a little bit longer than normal just because we started later. And that I want to finish these. Did not put that bit up that we used. Okay, but I did put this up. You were not the one. You were the one. Okay, so now we're going to drill our hole. Again, don't try this, it's a little dangerous. 
dangerous. working on my Sam cosplay from Princess Mononoke. We are doing the uh, necklace parts right now, so the fang teeth part thingies. Just drilling our holes. Oh, I don't need to do a second one on that one. That one came out great. Cute, cute. Okay, next one. biggest project yet two weeks ago and have been working on that cosplay five plus hours a day. That's great! I know a lot of times big builds can be uh, intimidating, especially when they take a lot of time, but if you're able to work on it every day, that is great. What, um, what are you working on? This one we need to drill some more. The middle section that, because you're going on two different ends, doesn't fully, uh, fully connect. Okay. So I found geometry, saw the BlizzCon winner of 2019 make the cosplay and you thought it was just your style, so you're making it over 3,000. Nice! Yeah, big builds always plan for a long time for making them longer than what you anticipate. <laughs> Cause sometimes you never know something might might happen and you need to remake something or just don't have the time. But yeah, have you uh, shared anything on Discord yet?
after this, we'll add some of our lines. Sorry, I have like hair on me. Wow, wow. Okay.
your server and following for quite a while, but never had the energy to allow your team to work on your life for now. It is a lot better and taking part in everything. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you're, you're doing better then. And thanks for being a part of it. Yeah, I know I get very uh, drained by posting constantly and like, it's sometimes nice to take a step back and then just come back in when you feel ready. But yeah, never feel like you have to post every day either. Take care of yourself before you take care of Kosuke. So I'm doing an extra thick heat treat. Since this foam's a, a little bit more fluffy. And hopefully that'll work. Don't fall off the table. Let's scorch it. Whatever. The more expensive phone and not the cheap Hobby Lobby phone. Ah! He's only melting a tiny bit. Yeah, that other one's a, a weird clap one. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's just the best it's gonna get. Unfortunately, it seems that this foam, it just, for sanding it, it's just very scaly. So, we'll see, we will see.
We've got our mask. And the earrings. And our ears. Yeah. Yeah. As I, I break things. Don't mind me. I'm pretty happy with everything so far. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I know, high five. <laughs> you have a hard time doing simple cosplays. You always complicate and push yourself. Um, still archive the end goal, just takes a lot. Yeah. Simple cosplays, they're fun to do, like to get them done and feel accomplished, but they're very, they're a lot harder to do than difficult ones just because they're, the simpler they are, the harder it is to make costumes and it to look good because there's nowhere to hide any of the flaws whatsoever so yeah but that is gonna be it for us today guys thank you yeah so these parts the mask and the oh y'all i don't have that perfume but the mask and the ears are already plasti dipped so i'll have to plasti dip the earrings and all of the necklace pieces and then i can start painting all of that so in terms of what's left for the costume if you didn't see it's in the background but I already have the dress made and the little white apron thingy made uh, I still need to make all right I need to get a wig and then style it I need to make the headbands and the little arm pieces the shoes um, and then I need to go I'm actually gonna go to Joanne's now and get some of the white fabric and then uh, what else do I have? Oh, I need to decide if I'm going to do a knife or a spear. So yeah, we'll see. I feel like both would be nice, but I know for traveling, a knife would be a lot easier. So we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I will check Discord after this. Um, I really appreciate y'all being here. If you are new to the channel, I'd love to have you as our cost part of our cosplay building community so subscribe to the channel as well as don't forget to like the video if you'd like to show some more support financially you can always join and become a member here on our youtube channel um, it is a monthly thing that can give you early access to all of my cosplay tutorials um, and different things depending on which level you are um, again that's optional you do not have to do it but it does help because this is my full-time job uh, as well as, thank you for understanding, um, I talked at the beginning of the stream about a lot of health issues, so if you missed that, check out the beginning again. Um, and then, thank you for hitting 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I really appreciate it. And if you want to check me out, my next conventions uh, so far are Monster Palooza, which is the first weekend in June in California. And then the last weekend in June in Oklahoma, I will be at SoonerCon 31. Um, that's it for now. We'll see what else comes about. But otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. A wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week, uh, most likely on Tuesday, unless I get another doctor's appointment. So, much love, guys. Oh, also, thank you for um, uh, Real for the $5 donation. Really appreciate it. Much love, guys. Bye-bye.